Famcast Media. Bitch. Well, um, I haven't done a video like this since, gosh, since Nurgle. <laughs> Good afternoon, demons and demonesses. Kwame Wakan here. Apologize about the very, very long, once again, hiatus again. Seems like all the time I'm going on hiatus. And it's mostly because of, you know, well, having a full-time job and having a bunch of co-workers that decide to take vacations pretty much simultaneously one week after another. Uh, so apologize about the battle there. I know a lot of shit has happened and... Like I said, once again, I'm knocked again behind schedule. Well, something popped up in the news um, a couple days ago, actually. I um, saw this on Twitter. It was blowing up. Uh, Satan was trending again on Twitter. And for an unlikely reason. I think the first reason it was because Rush Limbaugh had died. And this was like last month. Well, now it's because of Lil Nas X. Now, for those of you that don't know who Lil Nas X is... Um, um, he's not a metal artist, he's a rapper. I mean, he's mostly known for the song Old Town Road, which blew up a couple years ago. And shortly after that, um, he came out as an, you know, an openly gay rapper and surprisingly was oddly really accepted among hip hop, the hip hop community, um, which is a surprise to me because I didn't, because, you know, we all know what happened to Azalea Banks and we all know what happened to Frank Ocean. So... Like, like I said, this is just this, that was really surprising to me, and I'm glad you know his career is doing pretty well. Well, the reason why he hit the news today is because, well, once again, religious conservatives got all up in their feelings, and they're all ready to cancel this guy. Talk about isn't it funny that the same people that like to complain about cancel culture are ready to you know cancel a rapper? Um, so basically, what had happened was Lil Nas X he uh, released a music video where he's, you know, dancing with Satan. And the whole point of that was because, you know, his entire life, you know, he had religious conservatives, you know, making fun of him because, you know, he was gay. You know, he told he was going to hell, this and that and the other. And I, I remember, and you know, I, I remember that, you know, in 2015, you know, I was a manager at a convenience store and there was, you know, there were, there were newspapers. It, it was um, back when, you know, gay marriage was, le uh, was first legalized. You had gay couples kissing on, you know, on, on the mag on a magazine and it said victory. You had another gay couple that was kissing on, you know, the headline of a newspaper and it said we won. And one of the customers walked in, looked at one of the newspapers and, uh, and she was like, oh, this is terrible. These people are all going to hell. So and to be honest, I really wanted to, you know, be very. I mean, usually but when I work, I'm usually very professional. I wanted to be good, get on some old gangster shit with this woman. So basically, I was like, I, I try to be pro professional as possible. And I spoke to this woman. I was like, what makes you think they're going to hell? And, and she was like, oh, well, homosexuality is a sin. And I'm like, well, there's a lot of things that are a sin. I'm pretty sure 90% um, of heterosexual people have sex prior to marriage. You know, having sex out of wedlock is sin. And that's something that everybody, pretty much everybody on the whole fucking planet does. And I'm like, you know, also eating shrimp is a, is a sin. You know, there's a seafood restaurant right across the street. Why aren't you telling them that they're going to hell? Then once again, like every other Christian does, she tries to justify that. And I'm like, also another thing, what makes you think that God is real in the first place? Now, uh, one of my supervisors saw that I was getting upset. So he was like, you know what, ma'am? Um, I could take you on the cash register down here. So, um, pretty much, you know, he got me out of that situation. Because believe me, I wanted to curse this woman out. Like, she was just very ignorant, you know, just... And that's one of the things I, I don't like about fundamentalist Christians. They want to pick on, you know, the LGBT community. And you want to know the reason why? Because they that's literally the only sin that they can say that they're not uh, guilty of committing. And that's sometimes not even true, because nine times out of ten, if you're, you know, upset about what someone else does in the bedroom... Chances are you're probably doing something worse. And we've seen that time after time after time again. 
So this is that was pretty much the whole message of Lil Nas X doing this whole shit. He's like, hey, you're telling me I'm going to hell and this and that and the other. But when I actually embrace the fact, I'm like, all right, I'm going to hell. And then these same Christians are like, oh, how dare you, um, you worship the devil and this and that and the other. So I have to give a round of applause to Lil Nas X for triggering these uh, little right wing snowflakes. So not only does he do the music video, he also worked with this other company. Basically, it's an independent shoemaker that takes, you know, they buy a bunch of, you know, old Nikes and, and whatever. And then they customize each and every shoe. So what Lil Nas X did was he worked with this company and he made the shoes black and red and put like a little pentagram on top of them. Basically, they're known on Twitter as the quote, the satanic shoes. And they're made with quote, a drop of human blood, which we all know isn't true. But you know, gullible Christians actually think that there's like blood in the shoes, and that the shoes are actually Satan. They're like, oh, the shoes are so evil. They're so satanic. And it's, it's funny, you know, going through Twitter, reading all the, you know, the crazy gullible tweets that these people actually believe in. And these conservatives, and these religious conservatives got so triggered that now he's even the target of, you know, politicians and political commentators. You know, you have people like Candace Owens, the woman who literally thinks that anything and everything that she disagrees with is satanic. Well, it's good to know that Lil Nas X tore her a new asshole on Twitter. So I'm gonna read for you some of the tweets. So Candace Owens writes, we've turned George Floyd, a criminal drug addict, into an icon. We're promoting satanic shoes to wear on our feet. We've got Cardi B named as woman of the year, but we're convinced it's white supremacy that's keeping black America behind. How stupid can we be? Why has, oh, but I'm gay become a default excuse for immorality? It was Kevin Spacey's line when he was accused of sexual assault. Andrew Gilliam when he was caught with a hooker and crystal meth. Now it's the reason Lil Nas X needs to make a satanic shoe with human blood. Okay, now, now you can just tell this woman is just absolutely gullible. The fact that she actually thinks that there's blood inside of these shoes. We all know damn well that's not true. Number one, who the hell is going to give blood to put in a fucking shoe? Uh, number two, like, what would be the purpose of even putting human blood in a shoe? And third of all, like, I'm going to go back to the whole Andrew Gilliam comment. Like, what's wrong with him being with a hooker? Right? I mean, w w I, I can understand why Candace Owens would be against it because, you know, she's a a religious fuckhead but like there's there's nothing that should be legal anyway uh, now i don't know you can have your own opinions when it comes to you know the whole crystal meth thing you know me personally i freaking hate drugs i think the only like and i, th I think we should legalize weed but I i'm i'm not like i said i'm not too big of a fan on drugs but at the same time i think that you know people should have the freedom to put whatever they want in their own fucking body if they want to tweak their consciences you know when, when it comes to drugs it should be treated more as a, a medical and addiction problem rather than a criminal problem so like the whole andrew gilliam thing that, that candace owens just a fucking idiot all right now i'm going to get to the next tweet um this is like a whole thread of treats she wrote i have four gay cousins all of whom i'm very close to and all of whom have made it through life without using crystal meth sexually assaulting anybody or creating a satanic shoe stop blaming your immorality on sexuality Okay, yeah, I seriously doubt you're close to any of your, you know, your gay cousins. I mean, you, 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 I mean, come on. We all know damn well Candace Owens is not exactly a big friend of the LGBTQ community. You know, she only really talks about LGBTQ stuff when she's trying to punch down their community and you know shame them and this and that and the other. Like, but then again, I, I, I don't believe anything that comes out of Candace Owens's mouth anyway. She, she's like the biggest grifter on the fucking internet. She's almost like. She's basically just a black Dave Rubin at this point. And then Lil Nas X responds and writes, you know you did something right when Candace Owens is talking about you. So then Candace Owens responds, yes, you successfully got used by corporations to help further destroy our youth. Says the woman who makes fucking PragerU videos. Congratulations on being a pawn in a game you likely don't even understand. We can take cheap shots on Twitter or I can welcome you to have this discussion with me publicly because it matters. All right. Candace is a fucking joke at this point. She's willing to debate fucking Lil Nas X. She's willing to debate fucking Cardi B. And she's willing to debate AOC. But she runs away from Kyle Kalinske and Sam Cedar. C Candace Owens is a freaking joke. I, I, I know I've said that like several times 
throughout this video and throughout every other video I mentioned her in. But I, I, I can't I can't take her seriously. I don't know who's the bigger troll, Lil Nas X or Candace Owens herself. But it gets even better from here because, you know, the gun girl, um, Caitlyn Bennett. Now, for those that don't really know who Caitlyn Bennett is, I haven't really done a video on her. But basically, she was going to college campuses and she was going around with a camera and a microphone asking students how they would feel about a urinal in a women's bathroom or a tampon dispenser in a men's bathroom. And literally none of the students like really care. They're like, all right, there's a urinal in, in the women's bathroom. Who cares? Or there's a tampon dispenser in the women's bathroom. It's none of my business. And even, and, and the funny part is after watching some of these videos, even the conservative students were like, yeah, I don't really care about the whole bathrooms. There's more important issues to worry about on college campuses. And then Caitlin Bennett looks at them and says, oh, I thought you were a conservative. Well, so what? So are you expect every conservative to be a homophobic douchebag? You expect every fucking conservative to, you know, make a big deal about something as minor as a fucking urinal in a fucking bathroom? There's like so many more important things to worry about in this fucking country. But we're focused on like this culture war nonsense, this cancel culture shit, this culture war shit, this political correctness shit. And it's not really getting shit done. And, and, and I'm glad to know that there is actually, you know, a lot of principal conservatives out there that are like, yeah, with, I'm, I'm tired of all this political correctness. I'm tired of all this cancel culture shit. All right. So uh, back to the little Nas X thing. Um, the gun girl wrote, it's a great week to know that I've been blocked by Lil Nas X. And then Lil Nas X can still read the tweets and says, I can still read your tweet, you shitty pants. So then Caitlin Bennett responds. The guy that takes it up the ass from Satan wants to talk about my shitty pants. So then she also responds, do you still see your dad? Now, I, I'm guessing this is a reference to like King of the Hill or something, or maybe she's trying to say Lil Nas X has daddy issues. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing it's King of the Hill. Does your father know you're doing this? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I freaking love King of the Hill. And then he responds, yep. And I might fuck yours. You got knocked the fuck out, man. Give me my goddamn money. Pay back the motherfucker, ain't it? Nigga. <laughs> That's really fucking cold. So then Caitlyn Bennett, you know, goes all around the internet claiming, oh, well, Lil Nas X threatened to, you know, sexually harass my father. And I'm like, well, look, you're the one who started that shit. You're going to start shit with people and then get mad when they clap back at you? Like, stop playing the fucking victim card. You're not a fucking victim. So Lil Nas X writes, you guys love saying we're going to hell, but get all upset when we actually go there. I think the best tweet out of all of these is the tweet by the Church of Satan. Now, when Lil Nas X actually retweeted the, you know, the satanic shoe, the Church of Satan responds by saying, hook us up with a pair. I friggin love the Church of Satan. This might disagree with them on a lot of stuff, but I, uh, let's just say the people who run their social media are absolute geniuses. And let me just say this, Lil Nas X has balls the size of fucking Epcot. You know, I gotta take my hat off to this because you know, Lil Nas X is literally the king of trolling these eyes right now. You know, these people spend all day on fucking social media, you know, picking on this person and picking on that person and trashing the LGBT community. And then you have Lil Nas X coming in and just completely destroying them with like witty little comebacks. And they're responding to them. They have literally nothing to say. <laughs> and, the, the, and that's the thing about these people. These people are so fucking stupid. These religious conservatives. They're so fucking stupid that they don't even realize that they're being trolled and they're being punked. And they're being played like fucking fiddles. So I, I, don't, I don't know what Lil Nas X's uh, you know, religion is. I don't know if he's like atheistic. I don't know if he's secular. But, you know, if he does want to join, you know, a satanic you know church or a satanic organization whether it be the coven of satan the satanic temple the church of satan or the united aspect of satan or even you know the reformed satanic church with aria de Mezzo, we would uh, we would welcome him with open arms because that's what satanists do all right we don't really give a rat's ass who the fuck you have sex with in bed why because nobody nobody's fucking business and it's none of your business either
all these crazy conservatives. Oh, I can't believe what, what this guy does in his bedroom and this and that and the other. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, like seriously. Is it, is it really that big of a fucking deal? What um, another, I mean, and, and I'll say this, especially when it comes to, you know, men that are, you know, homophobic and shit. All right, there's nothing gayer than telling another man what to do with his own cock. It's his mouth, it's his cock. Well, let, let him, if he wants to suck cock, let him suck cock. And speaking of sucking cock, <laughs> this is this is actually really funny. Lil Nas X also tweeted a Chick-fil-A shoe with the verse John 316, which is white and red. <laughs> I have to give him another round of applause just for that. Like, th th this, this is like top tier king trolling right here. I mean, I, I sometimes like to trigger, you know, religious conservatives, but even the, the best of us, Kyle Kalinske isn't this good. Fucking TJ Kirk, the amazing atheist, isn't this good. Hell, even, even uh, the only person that, I think the only other Twitter account that's good at top tier trolling like this would be, you know, the Church of Satan. And they, they pretty much will, will respond to pretty much anyone and everybody. Now, I was never really a Lil Nas X fan, you know, at all, because like I said, I don't really listen to hip hop. But you know what? After seeing him do all this and seeing him own all these crazy Christians, he, he Lil Nas X, you made a fan out of me. I'm going to check out your music. Matter of fact, I might even do a review if I ever get back on schedule. I'm planning on doing that pretty soon. I have a lot of content that I still have yet to finish editing and recording. And another thing I wanted to mention is that, you know, when I was looking for these shoes online, well, guess what? They're all completely sold out. And literally one day, one day, all 666 pairs of these shoes are completely gone. Now, I, it was already going to be hard enough for me to find a pair of these shoes anyway, mostly because, you know, I have big feet and it's hard for me to find shoes in my size. But that should, that, that should go to show you something. L Lil Nas X is really owning these guys. Owning them big time all completely sold out and in fact um, i was speaking to a friend of mine about this um literally the other day because um she was telling me about the shoes and i'm like yeah they're, they're sold out and she was like what they're all sold out and i'm like yeah and so she called her friend and then she she told her friend that they were sold out and then she was calling all these people all these different people because she never really expected it to happen so like i said man i i, I really do hope that I don't really think they're going to re-release re these shoes. Like I said, it was limited edition, only 666 pair. And plus, you know, with the way I am, the shoes probably wouldn't last like maybe two years before they started falling apart on my feet because I would wear the shit out of them. But all this really goes to show you is that Christians really have their priorities mixed up. You know, we're literally going through a pandemic. We have people that are, you know, living in poverty, people that, you know, can't afford rent and, you know, are, are losing their jobs. You have, you know, thousands of people dying from, you know, COVID-19. All these problems in the United States, you know, lack of health care, you know, people that don't have insurance. Homelessness. All these problems. And you're worried about a damn shoe. I mean, last time I checked, Jesus said, you know, to sell everything you own and give it to the poor. But yet, you know, you have people like Jeff Bezos and all these other, you know, big tech CEOs becoming billionaires during the pandemic. Not a single one of you religious conservatives, you know, support, you know, a $15 minimum wage. None of you guys support union unionization, which would also help the poor people. So, but, but yet you claim you're so religious. Oh, because I go to church every fucking Sunday and, you know, I, I'm home with, and I want to just show how homophobic I am. And then you wonder why people like me and Lil Nas X and so many people all over the world don't believe in your fucking religion. This is exactly why. Instead of actually doing something that Jesus would do and using your religion to actually help somebody and to help better their lives, or you know, it's like it's like this big giant club where you're a member and then you feel like you can bully people who aren't. But that's pretty much all I have to say about this to anyone that has owned a pair of these shoes, all I got to say is congratulations to you. And to, you know, all the little Nas X fans that are backing him up, I want to thank you for sticking by this lad because he's a good lad. I think he's doing the great decision right now. 
because you know someone had to fucking do it and i'm glad you know lil nas x is using his platform to put these people in their place all right you guys i'm about to get ready for work um once again i got another endurance round before i get another day off so hope this video will suffice and fill that void until i have time to record again all right you guys stay safe stay metal hail satan and to lil nas x i love you man Hail Satan to your brother, and peace out. I'll see you guys on the flip side.